Welcome to the Howler Hour. How are we doing out there? Oh. Oh. Oh, it's getting good now. Welcome, welcome, thank you for coming back. Here we are at the Howler Homestead, La Hora de Ayudores. Oh, the. Oh, it's nice and hot. Yeah, like the whole thing just blows red. That's cool. Okay, now we're good. No, it's fine. I, we got that's yeah. Okay, Howlerin, we are Howlerin. So what I'm gonna do for you now is and tell you about the excitement that is. The Howler Hour. What I do is I play, I play music for you, and it is good. It's all kind of dark and loving and spooky, but I, I don't use the word spooky very much because I think that loses the spook, and I want to keep the spook. So what I'm going to do right now is play you another song. Now this song I'm going to bring to you is one of my favorites because why would I play anything else than my favorites? Washboard Sam and Big Bill Brunzi singing that lonesome lament all by myself. Right here, yeah. I'm on my way around the wood. When I get back, I'll have diamonds and wood. I ain't ashamed, don't try to keep it here All by myself All by myself I don't need nobody else to do it all by myself I got a house full of women, they all full of help I can take care of them Oh, 
Washboard Sam and Big Bill Brunzi doing that big, beautiful thing that they do. They were making it good and making it blue all by myself. You don't need nobody to help me. I can do it all by myself. If that's not a howler thing, I don't know what is. That certainly is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do right now is we're going to play a little special record. Now this record features some of my favorite musicians, and I guess it's even more special because I have played with them. That's right. We are going to play the Palm Springs Yacht Club. And some of you might know that this guy right there is the legendary John Reynolds. That's right. John Reynolds on vinyl. This was issued in Japan in 1986. And uh, I think I found it somewhere very special. I'm not going to say which thrift store. I mean, whoops. Okay. So it's this great record it's it's got like all these japanese things on it and it has fake signatures on the front but also next to the fake signatures they all actually signed it so the whole band including the late uh westy westenhofer but we got john reynolds and he drew a little face he still does that he did that maybe in the 80s still does that still does that john reynolds the legend but we're gonna play i don't know what song oh this is a song that i'm not really sure how it ended up on a hot jazz record but we're going to hear it right now. One of my favorites, John Reynolds with the Palm Springs Yacht Club playing Three Cool Cats. Yes, it is, Gina. I agree. That was John Reynolds with the Palm Springs Yacht Club. As I said before, where did I put the record? Who knows? But uh, I can guarantee you John Reynolds has zero copies of that available to buy from him. So I'm so glad that I found that. And uh, it's all very good. And the record is, uh, unfortunately for whoever had it before me, it is very unplayed. <laughs> so for me, I'm very, very happy. I should have John sign it again. It would have a fake signature, a real signature, and then a realer signature. I'm blowing my own mind over here. Because that's what we do here on the Howler Hour. That's right. Okay, I digress. Now we're going back. We're going way back to 1938. We are going to a club called The Famous Door. We are going to take a table. We're going to take a table with seats. And we're going to sit at the seat. And we're going to take that seat and we're going to look on the bandstand. And on the bandstand is playing a legendary band. We're in New York City, 1938. On the bandstand is Count Basie and his orchestra playing a song that was also on the John Reynolds record. Now we're going to hear John Reynolds 
not do it. We're going to hear Count Basie do the song we didn't hear earlier because that's how we do it at the Howler Hour. It's science. Nagasaki. Dark four on my Twitch. Hello, hello. Thanks for twitching with me. Joe Jones on drums, naturally. Walter Page on bass. Freddie Green, guitar. That was burning 1938 coming straight into your ears now one thing i love about records is it's like traveling through time we just put on that record which was recorded off the radio in august of 1938 now it was recorded onto probably a, an acetate disc like a home recording or maybe it was from the studio that got a wire they recorded it that way but then it was put on this record and then that record was put in your face because this is the howler hour and we play music in your face. So the next, or in your ears, actually. Not going to lie. Let's be a little more specific here. We're science. I believe in science. I believe in science. Okay. So coming up next, because what do you do? After you play John Reynolds' hot jazz, and then you play 1938 Hot Swing with Count Basie live. Of course. After that, you play the great. The great. <laughs> 
yeah. The Great. <laughs> Forgot who it was. The Great Legendary. Tom Jones. An old cowpoke went riding out one dark and windy day. Upon a ridge he rested as he went along his way. Remember when a record skips, that means Satan is here, and he loves it. In a good way, like everyone should have a party. The brands were still on fire. Their horns were black and shiny, and their hot breath you could feel. A ball of fear went through him as they thundered through the sky. He saw the riders coming hard. And he heard the mournful cry. Okay. Now this album cover. This whole album. That little guy right there. That makes the whole album. The face is gone. So their great. Eyes were Love their that guy. So this sweat. is a. I, I, I don't know my, my hurt, but they Asian character very well. I don't think that's Japanese. I, got think to ride forever in the range I don't know. If you know in the, the comments, if you know what language these characters are. My, my they Vietnamese, hard, uh, Vietnamese, Vietnamese uh, bootlegs are definitely a thing. There's a lyric sheet. If you know, let me know. But he's singing about ghosts. So, naturally, that's that's prime material for the Howler Hour. At no point is the Howler Hour ever not the Tom Jones Hour. If you want to save your soul from hell and riding on a ray, then Kyle, I'll change your ways today, or with us you will ride. Trying to catch this devil herd across these endless skies. Yippee, I Yippee, I I sang the song in high school choir. Ghost riders in. <laughs> I'm going to show you that lyric sheet. I'm going to pull it out of its sleeve. Ghost all 12 inches. In the sky. <laughs> That's right. You just got 12 inches of Tom Jones. But because it's of a record, you don't get the whole 12 inches. You only get like like an inch. Because you only, you know. That's all you, you know. Never mind. Okay. Sorry, Tom. I don't mean to disrespect you. Is he still alive? Is Tom Jones? I hope Tom Jones is still alive. Maybe he died with Bowie. I don't know. Maybe that's what's wrong. Who knows? Okay. So now where we are. Still at the Howler Hour. And that is the sign of a good time. This next song is very special to me. It talks about those places that you find yourself in and you end up with a lot less of what you went in with. You know what I mean? Not a great place, but such, such prime opportunity for a song. Oh, and for burps. Whew. This performer, one of, one of, one of the, in, in the traditional jazz category, a name that can possibly to you bring so many feelings. Oh, well, Becky would know about Sir Tom Jones is life because I hear that you toured with Tom Jones. Is that true? Is that true? If, if it's not true, write in the comments. Maybe not true. Maybe, maybe incorrect. But this next artist, I do not believe, is alive. I believe this next artist is... Muerto here on La Hora de Ayudores. We're going to have the great Lil Hardin Armstrong. In the 1960s, she went to Riverside Record Label and recorded one album of her talking, which is a great album where she's just talking about the history of jazz because she was there. She ran into Jelly Roll Morton in Chicago Music Stop. She was uh, a, um, a, a song, song plugger. She'd be at the record store, the music store, playing songs to get people to buy the music sheets. And here she is, in 1960s. She put out a whole record on the Riverside label. One of my favorite songs. 
with an amazing band. Zooty Singleton, I think Pops Foster's on bass. Uh, amazing, amazing sound that they were just in a big room doing great things. And I will shut up and make you listen to the song called Clip Joint. Hot Miss Lil, as they called her in the 1920s. My tears began to fall. My heart is aching. I'm on my last go round. She was amazing. She was a, she was the reason Louis Armstrong, Louis Armstrong became anything. She's the one that said, you should, you should do this for yourself. You don't need King Oliver. That's Judy Singleton in the 60s. She's there in no hurry. This ain't a this ain't a two-minute radio hit. That's Darnell Howard. He goes way back. They all do. These are just like world pals. He was in Earl Hines band. Good. 
Hey, Fred, good to see you on the Twitch. That was Lil Harden Armstrong with her song Clip Joint. Uh, she wrote that, and that was the first time she ever recorded that one, 1961 in Chicago. And uh, she passed away shortly after Louis Armstrong passed away. He, he died, I think, right off stage. Like, he had performed, and then he passed away. And she died at a Louis Armstrong tribute concert. They had long since divorced. Long since divorced. But, you know, divorce can be messy. Ah, ah. I kid, I kid. No, I don't. Oh, it's fine. <clears throat> okay, coming up next, a little special L.A. history for you. For all you L.A., Los Angeles. I don't, I don't mean to be too colloquial. Los Angeles. We call it L.A. here because we're edgy. We're hip. And something that happened in this town. 1940. Let's go back to 1940. Here we are, 1940 Los Angeles. Who comes to town but a fellow from New York that had ties in the L.A. area? He had a sweetheart here, maybe a girl on the side. Her name was Anita. Anita was the, I think, sister, half-sister of the bass player Bill Johnson. Now, they were our... Um, well, they were, a, they were a couple, and they had some problems. And the guy in, in question was Jelly Roll Morton. Jelly Roll Morton is very sick at this time. He's very sick. He thinks his ex-secretary put a, a curse on him. And uh, so he feels that all of his bad luck was attributed to that. And so he tried to get some things going. But in 1940, he comes to Los Angeles. He has two cars, one that he's driving, one that's full of his stuff. And the one car is dragging the other one. And they're both big, like, Cadillacs from his big fancy days that, that had long since passed. And he ends up leaving one in Idaho on the side of the road in a snowstorm. He had all the bad weather. There was no freeways at the time. From New York to Los Angeles, L.A. And it didn't go well for him. So by the time he gets out here, he's very sick. And within the, within the end of the year, he's dead. By the end of 1940... He's a dead man, and I'm drinking. Sorry, Jelly, I don't mean to burp all over your grave. I think you, I don't know if you would mind. We would hang. I'd hang with Jelly. Who doesn't want to hang with Jelly? You know what I had for dinner tonight? Peanut butter and Jelly Roll Morton. That's right. So what we're going to play right now is a selection from the final of his sessions in New York, final of his recording sessions. He recorded a few for the general recording label, and uh, some were really wonderful. And this is one of my favorites from that period. It's it's a glimpse at Jelly Roll Morton performing kind of casual, kind of just like a casual band side, like much different than what you would hear on his uh, 1920s recordings, where it was very charted out and uh, organized. This is my, more of a casual. He's just trying to make dates at this point. And now by this point, he had already he had already had long conversations in the public with uh, Robert Ripley about who created jazz. And it is amazing. He was he was a legendary figure. You know, he, he, he talked a lot, and some people say he could actually back it up. So January 23rd, 1940, New York City, Jelly Roll, he's, he's not making artsy jazz. He's making work records. And this is a really worky side. You can tell it was made with some guys in the room playing stuff they liked. This is one of my favorites, Jelly Roll Morton, Hot Six, Shake It. Shaking all your pretty little things. Shaking, hear the birdies sing. Shaking, oh bing bing bing. Yes, yeah, shake that thing.
this one down with me this time. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, that's the thing. on drums on this one too that was on the last record oh my god 21 years The great Jelly Roll Morton, he is buried here in Los Angeles, I think near where the 710 meets the 5 Freeway. There's a cemetery right there, and you can go uh, visit this amazing legend in his final resting place. He, uh, a little anecdote, because that's what I do, he was buried, money was raised to give him a headstone, but Anita Gonzalez at this point, um, his, his common law... His, his le messy legal situation, uh, she was too proud to take the money that the Jazz Society raised for his headstone. So it was unmarked for a while. Yeah. And then later, later a headstone was put on. But the money that was raised eventually went to the grave of, I do believe, Johnny St. Cyr, who played with Jelly Ramorton, one of my favorite banjo players. He's played six-string banjo, which is just a loud guitar. I mean, who are we kidding here? Who are we kidding? I'm not kidding you. You're not kidding me. You're not. We're not kidding each other here. A six-string banjo is just a loud guitar. Okay. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, I've cleared the air. I've cleared the air. Who are your favorite six-string banjo players? Let's see. Sylvester Weaver, right? Um, Papa Charlie Jackson, and Johnny Saint Cyr. I mean, I mean, I mean. Okay. So. Now that we've cleared the air, we're going to go to one of my favorite lady singers. Just sing her. We don't need genders for this stuff. It's good. So this is another record that I've also performed with and uh, love the recordings that Janet Klein has done of these songs. Janet Klein did an amazing re recording of Clip Joint that I highly recommend you check out. Um, from what I know, Brad Kay, the, the uh, Eminence record collector and parlor boy himself, he uh, presented that recording to her, to Janet and they're like, we got to do this song. So they did that song. So check out Janet Klein's recording of the clip joint and Janet's recording of this song, originally by Ivy Anderson with Duke Ellington, the great Ivy Anderson, I must say. Ivy. Oh, oh record's down. Record's down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I saved Tom Jones. I saved Tom Jones. He's fine. Uh, Ivy Anderson, <laughs> palpitations. Ivy Anderson's amazing. This is a great double LP collection. One of this this song, very special to me. I feel that she's speaking directly to me, and so I'm gonna let you listen to what Ivy's got to say to me. But like, don't let her know I told you. Chuck, you are watching. Oh, Charles DeCastro, my friend. Saint jo yeah, Johnny St. Cyr, Becky, yeah. Yeah, over at the... The, the Jelly Roll. I don't think Johnny St. Cyr's there. Evergreen Cemetery. I don't think Johnny St. Sears there. If he is, that's awesome, and I missed it. Well, I got a great story about about graves, about who, who took a whiz on whose grave. Oh, that's a good one. 
What bass player took a whiz on what trombone player's grave as he, after he was lowered into the ground and never left the gravesite? Oh, first hand account I have of this. Legends. Yeah, they're not the same time. Uh, Charles, let's go see Johnny St. Cyr. He's my boy. I wish Anna could come. Okay, now listen to Ivy. It makes you cry, it makes you sing It lifts you up and then lets you down again Isn't love the strangest thing? Like a birdie on the wing Love makes you feel just like a king Then another time you feel just like a die Isn't love That's Billy the Taylor on bass, thing? just... Ugh. Love can really hypnotize you, sweep you off your feet, it's true. Strange how love can tantalize you, it happened to me as it happened to you. That's right, just a loud guitar. Winter, summer, autumn, spring, one never knows what love can bring. Wise men of today all shake their heads and say, The Ivy Anderson, the great Ivy Anderson, one of my favorites uh, of all time. Every record she did, she I think she originally she was the first to do it. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Yeah, that yeah that is yeah of course Charles would say that. Thank you. Uh, let's see who is that on the trumpet on that Ivy record? Do you probably know? 1936. That Ivy Anderson record is from on the trumpet. Oh oh oh. Is it? Is it? Yeah. That's Rex Stewart. Oh, no. He's on... Yeah, that was Rex Stewart on, on the solo. And uh, Cootie Williams is in the section. But Rex Stewart took that solo on cornet, though. You should know that, Charles. You should know that. You should, you should know. Yeah. That's, all of Ivy Anderson's records are great. It's all from that 1930s period. Uh, that's my favorite Duke. Like, in the 20s, he was, he, was, he was amazing, and he was good, and he was doing all that club music. But in the 30s, he was... He was ugh. He was able to just, ugh, he was, just, ugh, 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 he was so good. Okay, but now we're going to the 1950s. Yeah, Rex, Rex. That's right. Now we're going to play the Crawford Brothers, 45 on Aladdin Records. Aladdin Records was a label out of Beverly Hills, California. At least that's what they put on the label because I think they were trying to sound impressive. And I don't know if it worked. Maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. But everything on Aladdin I've ever heard has been good. So what we're going to do right now is play another one. Now, I know it is not midnight in Los Angeles. It's not even 10 o'clock yet because you're still watching the Howler Hour. But somewhere, it, it is nearly midnight. It is not after midnight here, but somewhere it is after midnight. Right now we're going to play Midnight Mover Groover because it's always midnight somewhere. Mm -hmm.
the Midnight Mover Groover. That was 45 RPMs of pure foreplay. And sometimes that's all you get. That sometimes all you get is foreplay. You go home, you wish you had five, but you don't. And that's, that's life. Them's the breaks, kids. Okay, so I'm going to keep playing. Now this is a reflection of Kansas City music in the 1930s. Now, it's a mystery to me. I will not claim to know the answers to this. Because KC in the 30s, okay? So it seems like all these records would be made in the 30s. But it's not true. It's not true. These records are not all from the 30s. Uh, these are songs that are from the 30s. Done in the 50s, I do believe. So that's what I get. Um, what we're going to do right now is Jesse Price do one of my favorite songs. I found it on this record. I've never heard another ver Actually, I know I have heard another version, and it doesn't sound anything like this. So this is Kansas City in the 30s, but in the 50s, if you know what I mean. Probably the, like the mid-late 50s. But still good. It's still good. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at you. Wait a minute. That's the name of the song. <laughs> Everyone sing along. Oh, you don't know it. You listen to it once and you already know the words. Don't feel bad. I never meant to hurt you. Don't be sad. I'll show you what I mean. Don't you out I love you more each minute Don't go away You're all the world to me I ain't mad at you You ain't mad at me He ain't mad at her Close your eyes, all you Los Angeles people, all you New York people, all you Japan people. Everyone, close your eyes wherever you are in this beautiful world and think of yourself at that nightclub that you used to go to. Hope you're still not going to. Wear your mask and don't go dancing. If, this, if somebody played this at Joe's, I'd be dancing. I ain't mad at you. I grab Shannon. Maybe I grab Becky. You I probably ain't grab Shannon. Mad at me. I grab everyone. What with it? No. Now I'm in trouble. I'm Marcus is grabbing ain't people. Mad at me. Oh. Come on back. There ain't no sense in waiting. We can do like I waste dance. no time. Like Ten people in one song. I can't hold out like much Jello's more. Time. I know the two little styles if they all pay me like a buck. Right. That's different. That's different. And tell me that Speaking you of, love tip your DJ. Me. That's right, folks. The Howler Hour. Don't delay. You'll find an open door. Well, that's a CW Stone King song. Re a reference. I ain't mad at you. That's right. We ain't mad. That's all. Oh, I'm glad my friends are in the Facebook room and in the Twitch room. We got some friends everywhere. So glad to see that. Thank you for hanging. We got we still got some time. Okay, not not a lot. But I'm gonna play some of my favorite records. Coming up next, that Canadian baritone, that rockabilly that rocka wasn't. His name is Jack Scott, one of my favorites. I love, I love what he does. He's like he's one of those baritone singers, and I like the baritone singers. I'm kind of this baritone second tenor. When I'm at a show, I end up as like a second tenor because I'm all hyped up. But when I'm on my own, I can sing, I sing low. So I guess it's like confessional hour. I didn't I didn't mean I'm sorry, I got personal. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But, Jack Scott, the name of this song is, I never felt like this. 
which is a lie because he wrote it down in a song. So he must have felt like it at some point. He's a liar. Well, bless my soul, cause it's a happen to me. The girl with the big blue eyes. A one little kiss, it was a heaven of bliss, and I never felt like this. Well, my face got red, and then I started to sweat. And there were chills all down my spine. And then the one little kiss, it was a heaven of bliss, and I never felt like this. To the petrified, and I got electrified when she pressed her lips to mine. So I packed my clothes and I hit the trail. And a good golly, baby, she's a ride on my tail. Oh, I don't give a worry and I don't feel sorry, cause I never knew what I missed. And then the one little kiss, it was a heaven of bliss, and I never felt like this. It was a starlit night, the moon was big and bright, just like I wanted it to be. Then she took me in her arms, set me on her knee, and I knew little baby was a man for me. Oh, I don't give a worry and I don't feel sorry, cause I never knew what I missed. And then the one little kiss, it was a heaven of bliss, and, and I never felt like this. I never, never, never felt like this. Ooh, yeah, you're right, Gina. That is a little bit Tennessee Ernie Ford with that baritone. I love Tennessee Ernie Ford as well. Oh, he did this great album called like Feeling Blue, where it's just him bass and guitar. And it is the most chill record. Oh, Tennessee Ernie Ford, Feeling Blue album. I highly recommend that album. That was Jack Scott with I Never Felt Like This. Yeah, yeah, that is a cool guitar, that tremolo, and kind of like spy guitar, kind of cool stuff. Coming up next, speaking of guitar tone, we are going to Chicago. We're going to play some Little Walter right now. Willie Dixon wrote this tune, and it is so blatant a ripoff of a gospel song that was turned secular. This is the formula that Ray Charles wrote to success a little later than this album, this song came out. But... It is a formula that will always work because so much of what the law, this sister act in reverse, you know, sister act, she, de she, uh, desecularized pop tunes, you know, my God, right. But what the, the formula was to secularize gospel tunes and this one, you might know this song. I hope you do. It's going to skip because I played the hell out of this record, but we're going to put a little more hell back into it because it's a howler hour. La hora de ayudores. Here we go. Little Walter with my babe. My babe. My baby don't stand no cheating, my babe. Oh yeah, she don't stand no cheating, my babe. Oh yeah, she don't stand no cheating. She don't stand none of that midnight creeping, my babe. True little baby, my babe. My babe, I know That's she right, let the devil me, say hello. Babe. Oh yes, I know she love me, my babe. Oh yes, I know she love me. Nothing but kiss, kiss and, and hug me, my babe. True little baby is my babe. Oh. He's always been Big Walter. I don't know why he's so little. That's all he's a little. He's medium Walter. Why's he got to be so diminutive, Walter? Why? My baby, don't stand no cheating, my baby. 
I see we got a recipe in the Twitch chat room for some five play over here. I like what's going on in the Twitch and the kinky. Everything's do she do so please my baby. True little baby, my baby. Remember, if anybody has sex to the howler hour, make sure you take pictures with this in the background. I wanna see that. Like if people start banging. Oh yeah, she don't stand no fooling my babe. Oh yeah, she don't stand no fooling. When she's hot, there ain't no cooling, my babe. True little baby, my babe. You can hear Willie Dixon singing in the background here. She's my baby. Now Willie Dixon is one of my one of the legends, one of one of my heroes. The reason I haven't played any of his because I don't have um, any of the Big Three trio on vinyl. The Big Three trio is where it's at for me. When I started playing bass, I pulled out Willie Dixon, the Big Three trio, and that was just like starting point for me. Uh, it's it's just legendary stuff for me. And that was like a harmony singing blues band kind of jump blues era, and it's just oh so damn good. Big Three trio. Um, with Baby Doo Doo casting on, <laughs> hey Baby Doo, it's good stuff. But what's that? We got something going on in the chat room. Somebody screwing? Oh, the, did if the Facebook ended? Did the Facebook end? That happens. Is it back? It might have ended. Sometimes the the Facebook feed ends if they hear songs that they know, and that's a they might know that song. Uh, let them know I'm on the Twitch. If the Facebook gets shut down, I'm on the Twitch. Uh, I don't think you need a thing for the Twitch, but now I got my Twitch people watching. That's uh, that's actually not surprising. That's a very popular song I just played, so that probably got nicked. Uh, but this next one, I was gonna play this one for Charles De Castro, and now he's not watching. Oh well. Well, maybe maybe he'll jump on the Twitch. Okay. Well, this next song is one of my last songs. This is Estrellas del Ritmo con el pianista Misterioso. Misterioso. That's right. With the mysterious piano player, this is the Stars of Rhythm with San Juan Piar, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Scratches just means it catches. Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg, am I right? More like Zuckerberg. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. If you're watching, I'm sorry. I had to say it. You just take it. You just take it. Because that record doesn't need any more. It's already set on its path. The course has been laid out. So you take that little bit. It's like a cookie cutter. You only need it for the initial poop. Yeah, it's like pulling the tablecloth. The dishes are still stuck.
right. That was the second to last song, which means this one's the last song. We're going to play another uh, another one I haven't played here before. I went and dig, dug through my records today. I went to the thrift store. Not going to lie. Didn't get a thing. I didn't score a damn thing. So I just went to my garage and pulled out a stack of records that, you know, it fills that need. It fills that. It, it scratches that itch. It does all the things. You just just go to the garage, pull out some things you forgot you had, and it's better than a thrift store because you already paid for it, and you're actually rescuing it from oblivion. So, shout out to all your garages out there. I'll see you in it. Coming up right now for the last song of the Howler Hour, La Hora de Ayudores. Okay. <laughs> Con el pianisto misterioso. No, this is not the mysterious piano player from the last one. This is on the Groove record label. A man by the name of Piano Red. Now, I don't know much about Piano Red, except that he played piano, and guess what? He was actually red. He was, he was, he was like, a, like, a, like that red face guy, Red Skull. He was red. This is pretty much Piano Red Skull. As far as I know, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Check my sources. This might be, this might be true facts. True facts or life, fake, what are they, fake news. It might be fake news. I don't know. I don't know. So... We're going to play this great song about, about a guy trying to convince his woman not to pay attention to those things that, that have been bothering her about him. Just, no, don't, don't, don't pay attention to those things. Now it's like a bit of a gaslight, right? It's like, no. But he's not saying it didn't happen. He's saying, he's saying don't ignore that. Yeah, look over here. Hey, squirrel. So right now, that great song, that I love and I love you. Thank you for watching the Howler Hour. It's been a treat. I want to treat you, but thank you for treating me because we got the PayPal over here and the Zvenmo over here this way. Ooh, that's right. Like that. So I, if, if you enjoyed the show, tip if you can or a share if you can't or, or, you know, just like call the FCC. I don't know. This song, Pay It No Mind from Piano Red. Hey, it no mind what you say about me, darling. I see the twitches popping up. Every people are turning up on the twitch. Should they ask you to explain? Hey, it no mind if they say my love with another. Give me your heart, and I will give you my name. Away in south. Give them a big smile, hold your head way up high. Hey, it no mind, they was no friends in the beginning. I give you my promise, I'll be yours till I die. Let them point their fingers when they're talking about you. Let them laugh and whisper as they often will do. Built of joy and delight. I'll wait and see if heaven doesn't make it all right. Hey, you no know, mind what no. they say about me, darling. Don't listen to what they say about me. Don't no, say a word. Should they ask you to explain? That's right. Hey, you no know, mind if they should say my love with another. Hey, give me your heart and I will give you my name.
piano red the legend the one you want to take to bed so he will pay you no mind that's right this has been another howler hour i love it so much that you are here with me i appreciate all of you for watching all of you tippers i just want to i just want to put you on a pile and jump on you in a, in a good way though so i appreciate everything you do and everything i think you do and everything you think you do is all appreciated so i will see you next week and next week is the day after thanksgiving so i'm going to do of course uh more howler hour songs because there's no thanksgiving music <laughs> i might have some christmas so oh there's some cool christmas songs there okay it, i don't have this on vinyl so i can't play it but in anticipation i want you to look up tom waits and peter murphy did a duet on a song called christmas sucks highly recommend <laughs> I, if i had it on vinyl you would hear it next week but i do not have it on vinyl and i like to be a, not i'm not a purist but i like what i like i like what i like makes it special for me because if i just press buttons what am i i'm a button presser but if i like have a headache and like have beers and gotta p plug things in analog that makes me slightly interesting i don't know if it, i don't know i like it and thank you for joining me here on the Howl Hour. I will see you next time. Thank you to my my engineer over here, Shannon Mack. She is here making all the things good. I need a I need a Mac camera. I need like a like a camera three. She's I need a Mac cam. I need a Mac cam. We'll, we'll get that next time. Uh, I need camera three. But here we are. Now I'm taking the long goodbye. 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 Goodbye.